Hey, mind if I sit here? Cool. <laughs> this place is pretty popular for being just a tiny cafe. Huh. Looks like they're going to start asking people to share tables, and I'd rather pick who I get to sit next to. You know? Well, sure. Why not? You. You seem pretty interesting. Well, let's see. The bag you carried in with you tells me you didn't just stop by here while driving home, or else you'd have left it in the car. And the umbrella and raincoat tells me you weren't surprised by the rain. So that means you deliberately braved that rainstorm out there just to come to this little cafe. Seems pretty interesting to me. <laughs> nah, I'm nothing special. I just pay attention. You could do it too if you tried. So, what is it? Is the coffee here really that good? I haven't had a chance to take a sip yet. Let me. Mmm, <laughs> you're right. They should be charging way more for this. <laughs> no wonder it's so packed in here. So what you got? I'm always, you know, try to find something I've never tried before. I couldn't even pronounce what this is. I just had a point to it on the menu. You like it simple. Hmm? I can respect that. Guess you're somebody that knows what you like and sticks to it. <sighs> you know, I actually had another reason for sitting here. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw you earlier today. No, I don't think you would have seen me. I just saw somebody who looks an awful lot like you walking out of an art store. You know, the one that sells those really weird sculptures. No, I'm pretty sure it was you. The thing that stuck out to me was that you hit the sculpture the second you walked out of the store. You were looking around like you were scared you were going to get caught. What was that all about? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. I'm not accusing you of stealing. There's no way the store clerk would have noticed you walking out with that thing. It was huge. Hiding it in your coat didn't even really do anything. I just mean... I don't want to pry, but I was wondering if you were embarrassed about shopping there. I've been thinking about it all day, and it's been driving me crazy. It's a real stroke of luck that we ended up in the same cafe. Well, you don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to tell me. I'm just some stranger. But maybe this is a chance for you, you know, to get something off your chest? If you're embarrassed, then it'd be hard to be honest with someone you know. But me? Who even cares about what I think, right? We probably won't even meet again. So, I was right on the money. Hmm? Yeah, I was sort of afraid of that. It's just sort of a personal crusade of mine, I guess. <laughs> to help out people that are getting crushed by society. <laughs> oh, man. It sounds kind of dumb when I say it out loud. But what I'm trying to say is, 
I worry that you're somebody who's too afraid of what people think. A lot of people feel this incredible pressure to fit in at all costs or get all their validation from people they're not close to, and it makes life <laughs> way too hard for them. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't choose to come into this world, so why should you devote yourself to meeting other people's expectations? You didn't ask for any of that. You should be able to just live the life you actually want to live. So you like weird statues? <laughs> so what? Be proud of it. And if somebody you know sees you carrying it, great. Then now they know a little more about you than they did before. And listen, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I'm just saying that I've seen a lot of people get happier when they start living that way. Myself included. Oh, yeah. I used to live a way different life. I was actually in management, believe it or not. My goal was to grind my way up to the top and be in charge of everyone. I worked a lot of long hours to try and impress my bosses, hoping that next time a new position opened up, I'd get like a promotion and start to get some recognition. When the chance came, I was so psyched. I thought I was a shoo-in. Nobody worked half as hard as I did. But you know who got the job? The CEO's kid. He'd never even been in management before. But they made that little idiot my boss. And that was sort of my first hint. That people really don't pay as much attention to you as you think. And that trying to impress them all won't get you what you hope it will. But what really drove it home was when I ran into an old high school friend of mine. It was actually in a cafe, sort of like this one. We'd been pretty close, but I never really respected her. I figured she wasn't going to go very far in life, so I felt kind of bad for her. But as we caught up, I saw just how happy she was. She didn't have much going for her job-wise, but she didn't even care. She told me about all the things she was doing that I had never had time for. Relationships, hobbies, traveling. She was having the time of her life. That really made me look at things a different way. So, I quit my job and now I just sort of drift. I go from place to place, do odd jobs, ride chairs, delivery, making travel videos, things like that. It's not for everyone, but man, it is for me. Sure, set my own hours, see the world, and meet tons of people. I never got to live like this before. Obviously, yeah, I'm not saying you need to drop everything and travel like me. But focusing on what you really want to do, even a little bit more than you do now, could be the thing that finally lifts that weight off your shoulders. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I tend to go on when I talk about that sort of thing. It just means a lot to me. So, why the statues anyway? What draws you to them? You can sculpt? That's amazing. I've met a lot of people, but I've never met a sculptor before. You don't have to be a professional to be a sculptor, though, right? You just have to sculpt a sculptor and... Wow. Sorry. <laughs> the word sculpt just started sounding really weird in my head now that I've said it so much. Sculpt. Sculpt. <laughs> Sorry, but um, what I was saying was that 
you don't have to make money off of something to be good at it. And you don't have to be good at it to enjoy it. So, were you buying the sculptor for inspiration then? Or... <laughs> Wait, what? Well, <laughs> if it's one of yours and you didn't want anyone to see it, then why was it even in the shop to begin with? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, though. She just wants people to see how talented you are. Moms are great like that. I mean, okay, I did say that, but just because it was in that shop doesn't necessarily mean your sculptor was weird. Okay, well... It's not necessarily a bad thing that it is weird, then. That's the sort of thing that sticks out in people's minds, right? It leaves an impression. I mean, I know about that shop even though I've only been in town for a week. It's memorable. <laughs> I really like talking to you. I meet a lot of people, but... You actually sort of stand out. For somebody who's worried about other people's opinions, you're actually not too guarded around strangers. I wasn't planning on staying here for much longer, but I was really just stopping to earn some more cash to get me where I'm really going. But I think I might just stick around. Hand me your phone for a minute. Relax. I'm just going to put in my number. Here. Go ahead and text me whenever. I usually don't give my number out to people I've just met, but you seem pretty chill. Oh, and do you come by this cafe a lot? Cool. Well then... If you don't mind, I might drop by here sometimes. Hopefully we'll run into each other. I'd like that. Like, I'd really like that. You're somebody worth getting to know better, and don't let anyone ever make you think that you're not. Yeah, you too. I'm going to get out of your hair now and let you enjoy your coffee, but I'd love to chat again. Hopefully soon. <laughs>